Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to TechGeek webinar series, our endeavor to empower techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key to enhance our skills and grow us as professionals. With this principle in mind, we have initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give you all a crisp insight of various domains. The topic of today's session is DV2 Data Compression and Storage Optimization. Our guest speaker today is Mr. Praveen Kedia, Senior Information Management Consultant at IBM. Mr. Praveen has been working with different IBM information management technologies since the last 15 years. Especially, he has been focusing in the areas of DB2, Informix databases, Infosphere warehouses, ISAS, business analytics, various replication technologies, Infosphere Guardian, and Infosphere CDC. So without further delay, I introduce you all to our guest speaker. Over to you, Mr. Praveen. We can see your screen now, uh, Praveen, you can start. sound from your end. Can you hear me? We cannot hear your voice. Can you hear can you hear me, Praveen? We cannot hear your voice.
Hello. Hello, Praveen. Hello. Hello. Are you able to now see me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, Are now. you able to hear my voice now? Yes, yes, we can hear your voice okay, now. Okay, sure. We can start so the presentation can, again. So we can start? Yeah. Yeah, sure. sure. So today we will be talking about uh, DB2 storage optimization and compression and also the best practices to enable it. Uh, we will be talking about uh, various uh, ways to compress, various ways to compress the data. Where we will also talk about different algorithms that we have in DB2 with different versions of DB2, uh, Clark row compression, adaptive row compression. We'll also talk about how to have compression for table, how to have compression for indexes, and how to enable compression for a temporary tables. Uh, we'll also talk about compression for backup and archive logs. Uh, why we need to do compression? Uh, we first need to do compression to save storage space that everyone can easily find out and realize. But what it gives us is reduced physical I.O. for reading the data from compressed table, compressed index. Okay. So if you have any compressed right, if you have any compressed data, uh, it will have less I.O. Uh, data will not only be compressed only on disk, but also will get compressed on the in the RAM and buffer pool, so less requirement of memory will be there in the buffer pool. Same amount of physical RAM can accommodate now more pages in the buffer pool. So we will definitely get performance improvement if we enable compression. This compression ratios could be like from 50 to 80 percent or even 90 percent for some different objects and definitely we can get lot of performance improvement. Uh, if we enable compression. So uh, let's uh, move forward. Uh, uh, before compression, we always have two formats of rows in DB2. One is called standard row format. <coughs> Other is the alternative row format. So this row format actually takes care of null values and default values. So if the, in table there are a lot of null values and default values for different data types like character, varchar, and date. So if we enable, uh, if we use standard row format, he, even if null and default values will always consume the whole length allocated for character and varchar. Uh, uh, if we enable alternate row format, then it will have lot of space storage for null and system default value. So this this feature is regardless of whether you have DB2 storage optimization and compression, you can always enable alternative row format. Okay. You can always uh, enable alternative row format by either creating a table with value compression right, or activating value compression afterwards. You can disable it for a table by saying deactivate value compression. You can also enable compression for default for alternative row format at column level using compress system default. Uh, followed by this, we have to do a reorg. Okay. Uh, so now let's see. Uh, let's see how what is the row compression feature that we had introduced. It was first introduced in DB2 9.1 and it has been enhanced in various versions of DB2. Uh, in DB2 9.1, 9.5 and 9.7 we only had classic row compression where so in DB2 9.1 we could only compress table and index. Uh, in 9.5 we added automatic dictionary creation uh, feature and for 9.7 we introduced XML and temporary compression. In DB210, we have introduced new compression algorithm called adaptive compression. Uh, so we'll talk more about these features. Adaptive row compression is much superior to classic row compression. So if we if we used to get like 80% compression with classic compression algorithm, with adaptive we will definitely get much more compression 
because it not only compresses at uh, it all uh, at table level it also compresses at page level uh, we get typical compression ratios of 50 to 80 percent uh, compression has uh, improves IO savings and also improves proper pool utilization and it also found it has been found that it has also increases throughput and query execution time so if we want to enable classic row compression we simply have to say create table compress here static so static is the keyword that you need to add right in version 10 before version 10 you simply simply use to 